Well, here we are. Welcome to episode 15 of season five of our 15 second quote series. Today marks the final episode of season five and boy, what a journey it has been. You have become such a well-rounded public speaker and I know your skills will only grow from here. Today, let's celebrate the growth we've had by putting our best skills forward. Today's quote is from Marsha P. Johnson. Marsha P. Johnson was an American drag queen and activist dedicated to social justice for the LGBTQ community. She was heavily involved in pride parades and events during the late 1960s in New York City. With Sylvie Rivera, Marsha started STAR and worked hard to provide housing to homeless LGBTQ youth. In her final years, Marsha became a driving force and activist during the AIDS crisis through organizations such as ACT UP. In this quote, Marsha discusses the reality of rights. You never completely have your rights, one person, until you all have your rights. Today, we're going to combine the tools we have learned over this season, all of them. Eye contact, gesturing, facial expressions, tone, and posture. First, let's begin by adopting a confident and assured posture. We can do this by making sure our shoulders are rolled back and that our head is nicely balanced on top of our neck. Next, we are going to utilize eye contact. This is an important statement, one we want our audience to think about moving forward. We want to keep eye contact for the entire duration of this quote. Now, we are going to add a serious and matter-of-fact tone of voice. You never completely have your rights, one person, until you all have your rights. We are gonna keep a relaxed and neutral face for this quote. We aren't trying to add too much to it because the words speak for themselves and we wanna be clear and concise. Finally, we're going to add a singular gesture on the words, one person. When we put it all together, we have a strong quote that can leave an audience member thinking deeply and differently than they did before. Utilize these tools to spread powerful messages, to share truth, to educate, to connect, to inspire. To inspire other people to be vulnerable, to keep their ears and hearts open. Because when we do that, we have a better sense of our humanity and others. I hope these tips were helpful you know what to do. So send those mini air hearts our way. Share with your friends and family. Coach Shannon is signing out one final time. Congratulations on your hard work. See you next time.